Colby Joe Hunt on your left, head coach Lewis Wilson in the middle, and Cameron Pruitt here on the right. Can you start off with the opening comment from there? Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've been uh, blessed to be a uh, college basketball coach for about 20, 21 years. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I've experienced it, these situations. Some days you're, as they say, the proverbial bug, and some days you're the windshield. And uh, today we're the bug. Uh, Fort Lewis played really, really well. Um, you know, give all the credit to them. There's really not a lot of discussion about it. They, they took us out. Of the game from the 15-minute uh, mark of the first half on, and they dominated the basketball game. Uh, they shot the ball really well. Uh, our problem in the previous matchup with them persisted in this game. They got the ball in the basket at will. Uh, you know, so it was it was it was a pretty uh, thorough uh, butt kicking, and uh, they did most of the kicking. Uh, I'm very proud of my guys. Uh, you know, it's not easy to get to a regional. Uh, you know, you'd like to play better, but you know, again, sometimes you know, you know, some days in sports, uh, uh, you have less to do with the outcome of the game than the, than the person across from you. Uh, not by no means. I don't think we played well, but I think in reality, they had most to do with that. Uh, they, they, they defended us at a pretty high level. They were very aggressive. Offensively executed at a very high level, but it doesn't detract again from what I feel for my guys, particularly the seniors. There's two guys to my left and my right, the other five seniors in our locker room who have played in two regionals, have won 39 basketball games in two years, uh, and have, have uh, put our basketball program at Adams State on the map. So, very proud of our guys. All the credit to Fort Lewis. They were just they were just clearly better than us today. Coach, talk about the turnovers early on. Kind of put you guys in a really deep hole that it seemed like you couldn't really get out of. Yeah, you know, we shot 53% in the first half. The problem is you're not getting any shots. Uh, I think they forced 13 first half turnovers. Um, you know, and, and usually that's something that we're doing. We, we're, we're a team that creates a lot of turnovers and get a lot of points off turnovers. Uh, but, you know, today wasn't our day. Uh, the ball was sticking. It wasn't moving very well. Uh, you get in a situation where guys try to do, uh, you try to hit the six-run home run, you know, uh, and it doesn't exist. Uh, you're trying to do too much, and when you do that, the ball sticks, doesn't move fluidly. Uh, a good defensive team takes advantage of it. When they got a sniff uh, at the game, when they got a sniff, when they could sense uh, that it was their moment, uh, they did a phenomenal job of, of of just choking us out. And again, uh, I, I, I would like, I, there's no question there are things that we did to hurt ourselves, but again, I think they did most of the damage to us. Uh, they, they were quick to the ball. They were in great help position for the most part. They guarded Cayman with an undersized guy. It took us way too long to recognize and, and to take advantage of that. Uh, I don't, you know, it's so easy to look at kids and, oh, this kid's playing selfish or that kid's playing selfish. It's, just, it's never that simple. Uh, if the game were that easy, everybody in this room would play. It's a hard game. Uh, and when you have an opponent in front of you that's playing really well, sometimes bad things happen. Uh, and I can assure you that nobody in the black uniforms wanted those things to happen, but they did. And the guys in the white uniforms today just played a lot better. I thought Cayman had a couple of opportunities with guards on him, down on the blocks, particularly in the first half. And guys either rushed the pass or threw a bad pass. Was that just a lack of patience on their yeah, part? Yeah, it, it was. And, it, you know, and Cayman will tell you when he talks to you, you got you to work to get the post position, uh, you know, and, and they did a great job of wedging him out. You know, uh, uh, for the most part, it was uh, uh, McKenzie, I believe, that, uh, 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 that guarded him down there and just did a great job wedging them out. But yeah, it's a combination of a lack of patience, lack of recognition, uh, you know, and the college game is a lot different than the pro game. The pro game, you, you get a mismatch and you isolate easy. It's a very easy thing. It's not a natural thing to do in the college game because there's so much more motion. And so when you try to do that, 
when you try to isolate and go to a guy, oh, we got a mismatch, you wind up standing around too much. And because we're not as proficient as professionals on the kickouts and things like that or on the drive to get it to them, uh, you know, kid, they're not NBA guys, so they're not making NBA plays that we see on TNT all the time. And so, uh, yeah, it's a lack of patience, a lack of, of recognition, a lack of proficiency to take advantage of individual matchups like that. I think our offense stalled out trying to do that because they wanted to get them the basketball uh, as much as they could. Uh, but, you know, when you, when you do that in a college game, uh, my experience has been that you wind up stalling your offense out and you get a lack of movement and continuity, which we're built on, which college offenses are built on. That's just the way we are. But I think that's great recognition on your part. I was very frustrated in the first half. It's, you know, uh, they, they guard them with a guard, they guard them with a guard. Uh, but then we went NBA. We went TNT. And we're, we're not NBA. You know, so, uh, so uh, you know, bless our guys. I think they tried real hard, but I, I, I think uh, – I think uh, they executed what they had to do a lot better than we executed what we had to do. Uh, Coach Wilson, in the in the first half, um, Adam State was kind of off to a slow start, but in the second half, the game was more even between both teams. What are your thoughts on that? I think uh, I think we beat their fists up with our face, and they their arms got tired. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's hard to. I mean, you you're up by twenty some points. It's hard to build on that. Uh, I, you know, and we're not quitters. I mean, our kids went out, and you know, our goal was to try to get that thing cut to 11, 10 or 11 by the 10-minute mark. You know, we didn't say we had a 21 or 20-point deficit at halftime. We had a 10-point deficit. Uh, we've had four games this year where we've come back from an 18-plus deficit and won. So, uh, as weird as it sounds, it, we weren't overly rattled. We were a little frustrated with the circumstances. We played really hard. I don't think effort was the problem. I think uh, execution was the problem. Fort Lewis was the problem. I think we probably would have won the game had they not shown up. Okay, man. Um, Fort Lewis really seemed to get the job done in terms of the transitional play, getting getting the fast break points, being able to you know get back on defense, really get those necessary stops. Do you, do you feel as though maybe that 20-plus point deficit made a, might have really put you guys on your heels? Heading into the final part of tonight. Uh, we played the team four times, so they watched film with us. We watched film with them. So when, once they got a twenty-point lead, it was just hard to come back, keep fighting. And I mean, usually like last time, we, we got a deficit, we try to come back, but this time it just didn't work. We, uh, I mean, preparation was nice. I mean, the coaches did a, a phenomenal job with our game plan. I just feel like. It was just on us, so we can't point the fingers at nobody but ourselves. So our, uh, number 23 had like 30 points today, and we just, instead of us all trying to stop somebody, we all had individual defense, and they just spread us out and just kept scoring, kept scoring, kept scoring. And then in the second half, it felt like they did just enough to be comfortable with point for me. Like, it was some, there was some times where we'll cut it down, cut it down, but then they'll come back and get off his rebound and shoot it or take, you know, all type of stuff. They, they're just a, a real physical group that deserve to win. They've been hard enough today. Taking last week into consideration, was there ever that sense of, wait a minute, what's going on? Say it again. Um, taking last week into consideration, went down to the wire. Did you ever feel as though maybe there was just, you know, this sense of, okay, wait a second, um, it's, you know, totally different situation compared to last weekend? Not at all. Uh, you play a team so many times, definitely not conference. You watch so much film on them, and you know, you read the scouting reports. You know exactly what they're gonna they gonna bring to you. They just uh, they executed more better than we did, obviously uh, today. So it's not like we were surprised number 23, you know, or Ayala was around. But they just floated. Like coach said exactly what they're gonna do. They just executed, you know, to a T. And there's nothing. I mean, we could have prevented it, but our defense wasn't great. We never gave up. I don't think as many points in a game before. Our defense was not just there. It doesn't matter about offense or all that stuff. So it's just our defense wasn't there. And tonight I had seven turnovers. It was really unacceptable. So I, I take a lot of blame for the, uh, for the game today. So I don't think none of it, like, we were surprised that they could shoot threes and they could put a little on. It's like Coach said from the beginning, in the hotel today, they're going to put a little on game. They're going to, you know, go to the rack. They're going to spread us out. And it's on us to execute.